Okay, the last one um, is basically uh, from this position. Uh, we don't very often see people fighting from here. You can do it, it's okay, but you are you're totally giving away any, any attacks or any uh, distance and uh, you're exposing your shoulder. But anyway, a an attack from this side of the body and swinging in can be very useful. And we're going to show two variations uh, of, of this attack. Uh, the first one is if his shield is out and there actually is a gap, I can then throw to here, throw in, because it doesn't in, into this into a step, and he has to block that. He has to either put his shield down or block it with the sword. And as he does that, I go from false edge to true edge, up on the shoulder. If he blocks then up on the shoulder, then I'm back to rotating around him. Or he can be flat and uh, sword down, denying any contact, trying to insist on who gets each other first and he's not, he doesn't want to give his sword away. Then I can say, okay, I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to hit you, but I will go in and I will lock your blade. Now I have control of the blade and then I can go up and on the shoulder or I can go around. Show it on Frederick. So the first is when his shield is out, he's open uh, in a half shield position. Now I'm, I'm, in, I'm in my low guard and I swing the, the sword, I swing it in like um, a, a pendle. A pendle. Uh, it rotates in here to a step. And if he blocks it with, he, he blocks it with the shield, then I can go up on the, sh on the shoulder. So I do that. And if he if I swing in and he blocks the shoulder again, I do that move. I I follow the rim of his shield down. I'm actually in a, in a way controlling his shield all the way. Because and then as I as my sword leaves his shield, my shield take over. And hold this shield here and then I can hit him on the other side. That's one version. The other version is with me. He's totally flat and his sword is uh, retracted backwards and mine, mine too. And we're playing the, the tap game. Now I do this but I, I just go for the sword. So now I have a lock on his sword and I can ease it from here. I can go to the shoulder. Um, yeah, of course there's, I can do it even better if I put my shield on, but never mind. I just go in here, lock his blade up on the shoulder, and again, I go up on the shoulder and he blocks it, I go to the other side. So it's this move, if you, with all these feints and all these first attacks, you have to make them so that if you do not react to them, they're a kill. If you don't do anything, I'll, I'll, I'll stab you in the belly. And the second one, if you don't do anything, I got your sword. Now your sword is fine, and I just go up on the shoulder. Yes. Thank you. Okay, the counter to this move, there, there's a lot. Um, so the first counter is the really silly one. Is that if I fight from this stance and I'm waiting. I'm exposing my shoulder, so if I, I have to be super uh, aware of the distance between us. I can stand like this out of distance, but if I don't do if I do something here and I don't get his sword, I'm, my shoulder is totally exposed. Um, the other one, so so that's why I don't recommend fighting from this position. I recommend fighting from this position, then going over here and then rotating out. Also, another reason why you don't fight from, from this position or why it's uh, difficult to do is, again, I'm here, you do it. I, 
I'm very, very quickly, I'm locked. It's very easy to lock both my sword and my shield uh, if I don't, uh, if I'm not aware. All right, I'll do it on Frederick, so he's in the, in the guard. And then basically what I, I would do, I, I'm locking both shield and his shield into his arm. I need to control his, his sword out here and then it's a move that comes from HEMA, uh, from buckler fighting, where you are, where you are like that. But that's another game. And uh, when you don't have your head in and you don't have your toes in and everything, standing like this, of course it can be done. It's a super defensive style. It can be done. But when you see someone doing that and they don't know what to do, just fucking lock him up and the game is over.